welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelina, if you guys are new here. I am so excited. This is my first tutorial of 2020. I've already posted a vlog. I thought I would come at you guys with a soft glam tutorial. I've been seeing them trending on Twitter. Twitter. TikTok, I, mean, I barely even go on <laughs> TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, all over the internet. I am super inspired by it because it's something that I do a lot, especially when I'm not filming. It's super simple to create a look like this. You can use a lot of products that you use for your face on your eyes and vice versa. So I feel like it's something that a lot of people could benefit from, especially if they don't have a huge makeup kit. If you do, it's just something fun to put on for any time whenever you want to do it. I received my BoxyCharm box this month and I haven't yet done a video on it so I figured I'd use some of the products that came in there and create this sort of soft, glam, simple, easy makeup look. If you guys would like to see how I created this makeup look, make sure you subscribe to my channel and keep on watching this video. So to prepare my face for this look, I wanted some really, really smooth skin. So I used the first product that came in the BoxyCharm. The Skin & Co. Roma Truffle Therapy Face, I don't know how to say this word, gommage. Gamage. I've never seen this word in my life to be honest with you. But basically it's a facial scrub slash exfoliator. So I used that. As you guys can see I have a few red marks because I had a couple of scabs. This was like a sore. So I exfoliated all that dead skin to try to get that off of my face before we started doing this look. And I also used this which came in a previous month's Foxy Charm box. It is a lip scrub. And I love it because my chips, my chips, my lips have been my chips have been chapped. In this box, I also got a Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask, which I'm excited to use tonight. If you guys are interested in knowing if this works well, let me know in the comments and I will give you a review. But I'm not gonna use that right now, obviously. I also got a concealer and a liquid lip. The concealer is from Pretty Vulgar, and it's definitely like too dark for me. Who knows, maybe we can mix it. I think it's because I put that I'm more tan or golden, but I guess I'm not. And then I got this liquid lip, which is in the shade Thick Skin. I'm so excited to use it. And then the last thing that I got that I'm so excited for is this eyeshadow palette. It's from Ace Beauty in Scarlet Dust. This is the packaging, really cute. Please ignore my Band-Aid. I actually recorded what happened to my thumb, but literally my nail is gone. My nail is completely off. Today, the primer I'm gonna be using is L'Oreal Paris Infallible Matte Lock. I'm using a matte primer and I've been doing this look a lot lately, like off camera. Kind of different variations of what a soft glam is. I've been using a lot of my like bronzers for my eyeshadow, kind of sticking to some neutral shades after the holidays. I haven't really done that much since the holidays, so that's probably why I'm sticking to more like neutral colors. Next, oops. Next, I'm using the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24-Hour Foundation, and I'm gonna combine it with a little bit of my LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation, and this is in porcelain. My skin's a little fair right now. So what has everybody been doing this new year so far? Has everybody set resolutions and goals? I wanna know. I have a lot coming up that's changing in my life within the next month. I'm gonna share it all with you guys, but just not yet. But with those changes, I have had to set some goals for myself because I know myself and I will get so overwhelmed and so like behind if I don't have goals, including working on my vision board. I got a new calendar, actually two new calendars, and I've been preparing for the new year. What do you guys do? Has anybody stayed up to date with their working out? Because I haven't. My skin tends to be kind of dry, but I feel like lately it's been more combination. That's why I'm not like too intimidated by all the matte products. With the soft glam, I kind of want more of a matte, flat look. Look at how wet my hands are compared to my face. <laughs> now I'm ready to try this new concealer. Like I said, it's from Pretty Vulgar in the shade Undercover. I'm gonna actually mix because it looks kind of dark. Let's just see. Oh my God, look, it's darker than my foundation. I mean, I guess I could kind of contour with it. The freak. This is not even like, it's like right in the middle. It's not even dark enough to contour with, but it's definitely way too dark to highlight with. So I don't really know what they want me to do here. I guess I have to change my color preferences. If anything, I guess it'll give me a little bronze. Well, that did nothing. <laughs> hmm. Now we're gonna use our shape tape in light beige. And I'm not using as much as normal just because I don't really need that full of a coverage, I guess. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but 
you can still see kind of some of my freckles. Next, I'm using this airspun setting powder. Now I'm just going to take whatever's left in the lid and set all around my neck and ears. Just kind of blend the whole face together with the translucent powder. The next thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit more of the setting powder underneath my eyes for baking. Not like a lot, but you know, they do crease. And they crease pretty quickly, so. And then, something I've been doing for the past like month now is taking the translucent medium deep Laura Mercier powder and I kind of set slash bronze my face with this powder so I'm going to be taking this Morphe M530 brush dipping into the powder a little bit now just kind of softly bronzing slash contouring my face with this I personally think this is like the perfect bronzing shade for my skin I don't think it's too warm on me but I also don't think it's too cool And it's a lot easier to blend this out than I think any bronzer or contour shade that I own is. So I think this is really good for soft glam because if you accidentally clump it on, you just kind of like, because it's a powder, like a translucent powder, you kind of just spread it out, you know what I mean? I recently did like a spring cleaning of our garage here. Actually, I recorded it for my couple channel if you guys want to see it. In doing that, it made me realize how much stuff you freaking hold on to after a while and don't even realize it. Like from papers to stuffed animals from when you were younger and like random things like you end up accumulating so much crap in your attic, in your closet. I don't know if you guys actually know this, but my closet is transformed into my beauty room. So I don't actually have a closet to like stuff things into. So I'll like find random things under my vanity or that I put like under my bed or something in my car. There's like a random closet in our house. I call it the everything closet and I'll like put papers in there. And before you know it, like you have so much junk that you don't need. So we got rid of so much stuff and I've been selling so much stuff on like different apps. It's amazing how freeing it is to get rid of stuff. So as you guys could see, it took me like a while to get to this point, but I feel like that is the smoothest, most soft bronzing contour. It feels so smooth to me. Now, now I'm gonna take this random brush I got from Target years ago. I don't know the brand. Use it to softly define my nose. And I'm using all the same powder, like this is just the Laura Mercier powder. And then as you guys can see, I'm brushing this up into my brow. Now taking my beauty sponge and some of the original Airspun translucent setting powder, I'm gonna softly just define underneath my cheek. And then once you create this line, I mean you guys can leave it, but I'm going to dust away the powder because I want this to be really smooth, like soft and not too defined, you know. And now, I feel like it's the perfect amount of contour. The next things I'll be doing are my brows. I kind of just do the same thing I always do, so I'm just gonna put my brows on and I will be right back. So now that my brows are on, I just wanted to show you guys that I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Taupe to fill them in. Then I use this brow bar that I actually got in my BoxyCharm, I think two months ago. Filled in some of the, sp the sparse spaces with the more blonde shade, more of this area that gets kind of like thin on me with the darker middle shade. Then afterwards, I brushed them all up and I added the brow gel that came in the same brow bar. I'm keeping this brow bar out because I'm gonna be using this later. Now I'm taking this JH30 brush from Morphe and a little bit more of this translucent setting powder in medium to deep. And this is very similar to Daisy Marquez's style of what a soft glam look is. I'm not using the same products and I have a little bit of a different method that I do, but it's pretty similar in that same like category. So we're taking our contour from our nose up and I know you guys have seen me do this a few times before. I just wanted to give her some credit because I saw her video and she posted it before me. <laughs> So I'm just in circular motions, spreading out this powder, 
from my nose all the way up in a fluid motion into my brow and then just kind of blending it really softly through my crease and then I'm kind of just flicking out with it. So you're sort of going in this motion. This actually kind of reminds me of my lion look that I did for Halloween because I'm making this part really dark. And because we use this exact shade to bronze and contour our whole entire face, everything just looks really smooth. Like there's no contrast. It just looks like your face is so like matchy matchy. I want to give a shout out to my dad <laughs> because today he gave me a call and he was like telling me he was near my house and he's like, I'm at Sam's Club. Do you want me to bring you by rotisserie chicken? And I was like, yeah, like that would be so nice of you. So he came over and he dropped off a whole rotisserie chicken with a Caesar salad and brought me Duncan. I was like, wow, dad, thank you. So shout out to dads out there who do special things like that because that stuff does not go unnoticed. Like. Feel very blessed. Now we're pretty much done with that part. Here is where we're going into the Ace Beauty palette. I know it's kind of dirty, but I'm taking the JH33 brush. It's a blending brush, but it also packs product on really well. And I'm just gonna go in with Sunset Rose and Lotus together. I'm just going back and forth and barely tapping both of them. The reason why is because I feel like Sunset Rose is a little bit too warm and Lotus is too cool and like mauve. And I'm packing it onto the outer corner of my eye. And again, flicking out from the outer part of my eyelash again and blending inward. Now I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of that brown translucent setting powder, blend the two shades together. Okay, now I'm gonna take this little clear plastic sheet and I'm gonna use it sort of as a border. And then going back into the brow bar like I was telling you guys, I'm gonna combine both of the shades, the blonde shade and the soft brown shade. Tap it off, take the clear sheet and use it as a border to create a soft little wing. And I'm using this using the JH40 brush. I'm gonna keep adding a little bit more of the brown shade and deepening this up a little bit more until I'm happy with it. And I think that's honestly good right there. And then taking this fluffy brush that we originally used to spread out the translucent setting powder, I'm not gonna add any more, but I'm just going to slightly blend this together. And now I'm going in with my new Jeffree Star palette and I'm gonna be taking the shade Lynn and I'll be using the JH41 brush. Taking Lynn on the brush, I'm going to carve out my eyelid and right above my eyelid. And the reason I'm taking it so far into my nose, I'm not gonna be using a highlight shade today. I'm just gonna be using this. So normally I would be using a highlighter to highlight my inner corner of my eyes or like a really pretty shimmer shade. But because I'm wanting it softer than that, I don't want too much like glow. So I'm going to be using the eyeshadow as that. And the best way to kind of pull it all in together is to just drag it up and out. And then taking the JH30 brush again and softly blending out the corners. Now I'm using the JH07 brush to dust away the rest of the translucent setting powder that I used. Now I'll be going in with the JH39 brush and a little bit more of the medium to deep translucent setting powder and filling in underneath my lash line with this shade. So I'm just dragging from the wing that we created and bringing it in toward my eye. And I'm not gonna go all the way into the center of my eye, I'm only going to about my tear duct. I want the 
inner part of my eye to stay really, really light. So I'm just going right under into my tear duct. It's kind of funny how we'll do like such a neutral soft glam and then we use like Lily Miami lashes <laughs> to top it off. It's like soft, but make it dramatic. I love the beauty industry. Really quickly, I'm gonna add some mascara and then apply my Lily lashes in So Extra Miami and I'll be right back. Now that I have my lashes on, the next thing I'll be doing is taking my JHO2 brush and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in Pink Passion. I'm gonna use these two shades combined. Oops, this one and this one. And just and softly just kind of swipe it up my cheeks. I don't want anything too crazy. I usually like a lot of blush, but because this is a soft glam, I only want a little. And go ahead and let it brush up onto your nose as well. And then tie it into your forehead and your chin as well. For this next part, I usually use a highlighter on my brow bones as well as my inner corner, but I'm gonna use the shade Lynn again from the Jeffree Star palette, and that is what's going to be my highlighter underneath my brow. I'm just gonna stick to matte, which is so different. I haven't done this in literally forever. But this will be enough highlight to kind of tie in what we've got going on here. And then go ahead and use the JH30 brush again to blend it out. And then we are going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Balm Reezy highlighter today. I'm using the JH09 highlighter brush and I'm just gonna really softly brush into this and really lightly add it to my cheek. I'm only gonna do a couple swipes. Point is to have a glow but not like crazy. Cupid's bow my chin and then once again on my cheekbones and I know I said this in my video from two years ago as well I'm not gonna apply any more highlight after I set my face with setting spray because that'll just make it very vibrant and we're just gonna leave it here with like this soft sort of glow why are my eyes watering what's wrong with me okay now for the next part I'm gonna go ahead and use the Jeffree Star Morphe setting spray that just ties in the whole look and then I'm going to go in with the liquid lipstick that they gave me. This is in the shade Thick Skin. I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild lip pencil. I feel like it's the closest pencil I have to this. You guys have seen me use this pencil a million times. That's one thing I actually need to get more of is lip pencils. I wasn't really big into them until I got my lips done. And now I use like the same ones all the time. What are the chances they gave me like the perfect shade for a soft glam? I learned this trick from Kylie Jenner. <laughs> okay, well, let me go ahead and fix my hair so I can do an outro. <laughs> it's nighttime and I have nowhere to wear this makeup look too, so I love that for me. I really don't know what's going on with the corner of this lash, so try to ignore it. But that is the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you learned something from it. I hope it gave you some inspiration if you're looking for some, or if you're wanting to switch up your makeup style lately. I got quite a few products for Christmas, so if you guys like these tutorials and you want to see more of them, if you want me to incorporate makeup looks in like vlog type videos, just let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see. I'm happy to I'm, I'm happy to create them for you guys, especially for 2020. I want to put out what you guys would like to see, especially because before we know it, we'll be at 15 K and that feels so good to say but yeah I do enjoy making vlog type and challenge type videos in addition to tutorials I feel like my personality is kind of all over with that and I'm not like an insane crazy makeup artist who can create like trees and like butterflies all over and like actual art with like paint and things like that I'm more so like I just have fun with it it's my kind of art my kind of style so now I'm, I'm rambling I'm always doing that but I'm gonna let you guys go Thank you so much for watching this video again. And make sure you're subscribed, please. Your subscribing means everything to me. Like I said, we're so close to 15K, and I just can't wait. I'm like itching to get there. Literally, I'm like itching. Something's itching on my arm right now. <laughs> Comment whatever you want below. Hopefully positivity. That's always a good thing. And I will see you all in my next video. I love you, angels, and God bless.